Hi, the purpose of this video is to cover up to chapter 14, how to create a simple linear regression chart. Okay, so let's begin. I'm at my data here. I have my values here. So I'll give you some background. This is some restaurants. So I have 10 restaurants. I have the population in the area of those restaurants and the quarterly sales, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and create a simple linear regression chart using this data. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select my population sales. I'm gonna click insert. And the charts here, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click the drop down here, click the scatter chart. As you can see, I'll move it over, make it a little larger. You can see it's plotting each of the populations in relationship to the sales. For example, we had a data point here, we see sales point two comma 58, two 58. Sales point over here, 26202, 26202, okay? Let's add a few more elements to this chart. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll click on the chart, enter design tab, I'll click Add chart element, tread line, and I'll select linear. Notice now it gives me a blue data line. So going from left to right, the data line is going up. So there's a positive relationship. Let's add a couple more elements to this chart, if you would. I'm going to go ahead and click again, add chart element, tread line. This is more options. And over here in my options, I'm gonna scroll down, it's the very bottom. I'm gonna click display equation on chart. I'm gonna select display R squared value on chart. I'll close this out. I can even take this and maybe make it move it over here a little bit so we can see it. Let me zoom in. And you can see here what it's giving us is giving us the predicted value chart is giving us the, 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 the formula. So it says here 5x plus 60. So 5x is our slope and 60 is our intercept. So any x value I input, I add 60, that will give my, me my predicted y value, okay? And this tab here kind of gives me, again, the chart and some more data here, the MSR, the MSE, the FCALC, and then obviously the correlation. Let's go here, back here, I'll show you something else. What this R squared tells us, the 0 0.90, is, is that the closer the R squared is to one, the more these two variables are related. So for example, this is 0 0.90. So what that, that's telling us is, is that, yeah, as the population increases, the quarterly sales should in fact increase. And that concludes this video on how to create a scatter plot chart as a linear regression model. Thank you.